Hey kids, today we are going to learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Me too, Bluey. I love all kinds of dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Those are my favorite. I know, George. I'm sure you're going to love this episode. To teach us about the dinosaur, we have our dinosaur expert, Mr. Malcolm. Hello, kids. I'll be happy to tell you about all the dinosaurs. So let the fun begin. Yippee! The first dinosaur we have here is called Ankylosaurus. It's an armored dinosaur. You can see the armor around its body. It weighs almost 5 to 8 tons. That's more than 5 or 6 cars. And do you know guys? It's a herbivore that it feeds on grass. Wow, that's so cool. I like Ankylosaurus. The next dinosaur is Brachiosaurus. Did you know the giraffes are Brachiosaurus descendants? They can be as tall as 42 feet and they would eat plants every day and they could weigh up to 99,000 pounds. Wow, that's so many pounds. And the giraffes are descendants of Brachiosaurus. I didn't know that. Thank you for telling us. This next dinosaur is called Spinosaurus. It could be as long as 50 feet tall and it swims in water to hunt fishes. It has 6 inch long teeth. That is scary. And it's like a big shark or a big scary crocodile. It's named for its 7 feet long spines. Its nostrils were further up on its spouts. So it would allow it to breathe underwater for a long time. And its teeth were like crocodiles and were ideal for catching fish. I am scared of Spinosaurus. I don't want to swim anymore. It's okay. They are extinct now. Thanks for sharing that, Peppa. The next dinosaur is Dilophosaurus. Dilopho what? Dilophosaurus. Okay, that's a very difficult name. Dilophosaurus were meat-eating dinosaurs. They were more than 20 feet in length from head to tail, but stood only about as tall as an adult human. They had an interesting crest on their head, the purpose of which is debatable. Next dinosaur is called Triceratops. I know about Triceratops. It has three horns on its head. That's why it's called a Triceratops. That's right. Triceratops was a big dinosaur, stretching up to 27 feet in length. That's slightly longer than a bus. And it weighed up to 6 to 8 tons and had an enormous head. But did you know, Triceratops was a herbivore. It ate plants and it had a beak. Triceratops had a bird-like beak that helped it to clip through the tough vegetation that formed part of its diet. It had several hundred teeth in the jaw, which ground the food down. That's a lot of chomping. Chomp, chomp, chomp. chomp. Hey, that's a cute looking dinosaur. What's its name? 
His name is Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a long name. Actually, this dinosaur grew to be about 33 feet from snout to the tail, and its snout can make some noise. When you blow into it, it came out like a trumpet-like B-flat note. Huh. Are you a singer? No, I just like to make some noise. Okay. Hey, watch this blue dinosaur. This blue dinosaur is Plesiosaurus. They lived about 228 million years ago. And they were a marine reptile. They are not exactly a dinosaur, but a marine reptile like crocodile. Wow, so it's like a big crocodile. That's exactly what I am. Hey, I know that dinosaur. It's called a T-Rex. Yes, it's Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's actually called the king of dinosaurs in a way because it looked like a giant lizard king. T-Rex had a massive body, a mouthful of 60 super sharp teeth. That's a lot of teeth, kids. 60 teeth. And the strongest bite of any land animal ever. Its jaws could have crushed the car. Wow. And, of course, it's a carnivore. Hey, what's that? That looks like a giant bird. Actually, it's a reptile. It's not really a dinosaur, but a flying reptile called Pterodactyl. Mostly ate insects and mollusks, and it also sometimes used to fish in the sea. Wow.